If you're still using ChatGPT, then throw it in the bin. There is an all-in-one AI academic tool called Unriddle. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through a full breakdown as to how you can use it, some hacks and some tricks, and just some ways to help you write quicker, research easier, and understand research papers in minutes. In just 13 minutes, you are going to learn how to use a tool that will absolutely transform your reading and research writing process from today on. I'm going to be breaking down this video into four sections. The first is how to import and add files to your library. The second is how to chat, so learn how to quickly understand your files. The third is to write, so learn how to write and find citations. And the fourth is about how to collaborate and how to work with teams and use Unriddle at the same time. If you do want to try Unriddle, then I'll leave the link for it down below in the description with a discount code for the paid plans. But if you would like to try it for free, the free plan gives you so much capability. So click on it, give it a go and see how much you love it. So starting off with the importing process. So you can import anything from a document, from plain text, from a video, audio, a website, images and recordings. Now the document can be a PDF, it could be a Word document, um, the video could be a YouTube video URL or a video that you have downloaded yourself. Um, the images could be JPEG, it could be a PNG. Um, there's just such a wide range of uh, sources that you can import. And even as you're like going ahead and using the platform, you can just quickly click on the button on the top left hand side to import something really quickly. So there's just so many ways that you can do this and it's just made really easy. So that is the first step. Now let's move on to the fun stuff. And this is where we actually begin to chat using Unriddle. And there's a few things that I can do. Now I can just ask set questions, which are, allow me to understand the research paper in a certain way. So here, for example, I've asked about a specific role of a specific protein and it gives me answers with the evidence in that little circle, which takes me to the source. Where is it that it's been mentioned on what page? And it highlights the section where it has been mentioned as well. So that's also really useful. I can then ask for a comprehensive breakdown. So this is a quick action. You've got breakdowns, you've got practice questions. Um, so I've got a breakdown here. So it's given me a full breakdown of the article. It's just a really good quick summary of a research paper that I would it would have taken me ages to do. It's done it here for me in a few seconds. Now, if I'm a bit stuck as to what to ask uh, and how to interrogate the tool, you can click on the button in the bottom and you can actually have a set of kind of predetermined questions that you can use. Another thing that you can do is you can group research papers. So I am grouping three research papers together which are in the same research family because I want to interrogate and chat to them together. And this is really, really cool because it's not just you looking at one research paper, but you're able to ask a few research papers uh, and kind of chat to a few research papers at the same time. So imagine you're doing a literature review or you're doing a systematic review and you want to look at 10 papers and try to determine um, something about the group, it's really easy to do that. You can also create subgroups. So here are, I've put two of those papers into a group within the main group. So it gives you that tiered system that allows you to break down uh, maybe 10 papers into two of them, that's for the abstract, the other two is for the conclusion, the other three that's for this section, and it allows you to create and organize uh, your papers into much better uh, categories. And then you can ask a question about certain groups as opposed to just asking about individual papers. So I think this is really, really invaluable and it's uh, one of the USPs of, of Unriddle. When you're asking questions, it's really important to ask questions that prompt uh, the the AI to give you the response that you're looking for. So I, in this case, I'm looking for the main similarities and differences between these research papers. So I want to kind of get a, a brief understanding of what are, what are the differences, what, what makes these papers similar. And I put that down here. And as you can see, it's broken it down for me. And it will give me, again, give me that source uh, source file where I can click on the number and it'll take me to the exact place that it has been mentioned uh, within the, the paper. So really quick and easy for you to source where it comes from. Now, let's say we are chatting to a YouTube video. So as you can see here, I have a YouTube video that I have uploaded. It's about how to write a paper in a weekend. I really like it. I really recommend you go and watch it. Um, so again, you don't have to download the video. You just put the URL of the YouTube video into 
uh, the into the upload on Unriddle. And you can see that you'll get a very clear breakdown of how to write a paper in a weekend. Well, here I've said, give me a summary of the method that was used in this video. So this is a 10 minute video, uh, maybe a bit longer, about how to write a paper. And I don't have time to, to watch the whole thing. So I want you to give me a quick summary and you can see that it has done that. The great thing again is that you get the source location. So you can click on the number um, and the timestamp and that will take you to where in the video it has been mentioned. So really amazing stuff. And this would work really well if you have uh, maybe a longer lecture. You're also able to filter your output a little bit. So you can change like the language, the word count, um, kind of the LLM that's being used. So this is really useful, I think, if, you're, if you want to kind of filter down a little bit more and really tailor your responses. Moving on to the fun part. So this is where you actually begin to write. I'm going to title it the impact of waste on global temperatures. So what you can do is you can type plus plus and this begins to write for you. So it's amazing if you're just blocked a little bit or you just need that initial sentence, that starter sentence, you can do this and it will give you a good starting point for where to write. And once you have written something, there's quite a few things that you can do. So you can click on the action uh, tab here and that gives you a few choices for rewriting, finding citations, paraphrasing, shortening, lengthening, and things like that. Um, so here I'm going to look for a citation. So it's going to look through my library and the online library to find the best one. Um, so in the online library, you can see that it's going through uh, research papers that have similar titles, similar topics, and then I can directly cite it into my paper. Um, so and, and it gives not only the reference within in text, but it also gives the end uh, of text uh, reference list as well. So you can keep on writing like that. And it's a really nice way of just having your research there, your citations there. And then you can also ask the document a question. So now that you have some writing and now that you try, you're starting to begin to formulate uh, what your essay is going to look like, I can now ask questions about it. So as I'm writing, I can say, can you give me some feedback on my introduction? And it's given me feedback based on what I have provided. Of course, this introduction is not great. It's not very long, but you can see that it's giving me really specific feedback. Like you need to think about your topic. You need to think about the impact. The language isn't great. Um, there's, you know, so it said here that I have a strong foundation, um, but I need to now improve it through having a thesis statement, um, through having more details. And I completely agree with this because this is not a great introduction. Um, and this would be absolutely amazing to do once you have a good chunk of text available to you um, that you've actually written, then you can ask questions about it directly. And now I'm, I can take what I've, what I've been given in terms of feedback, and now I can could directly modify. So I've been told, add some further details, add some stats, add some numbers. So I'm going to do that. So you can see that it's a really good way of getting uh, quite instant feedback and uh, without having to like refer to or ask my supervisor or ask a professor. And also note that the information that uh, Unriddle will give you when you're asking questions about uh, the, the document that you've presented is only based on the document that you've presented. It doesn't find information from other places and give you a guesstimate or give you uh, a random response. It's basing its response on the information that you have presented so you can be sure that whatever is you, you've uploaded is what is being used to give you the information that you're asking about. So that's really important. Now moving on to the fourth aspect, and this is the team aspect. So this is where you're able to collaborate. Um, so what you can do is you can, if you have a chat like this, you can publish it and this will give uh, you the ability to share it with other people. You can also export uh, your files as PDFs, as Word. Um, so again, you can share that with somebody else. You can also collaborate uh, as a team. So if your company wants to have a, num a certain number of seats, then you can have members within a chat and that will allow you to have like a more collaborative team uh, that you use Unriddle. Let's say you have a number of research papers within your library and you want to see how they collaborate together and how they link and the relationships that could be formed, you can use this graph ability. It shows you any relationships that could be formed between certain research papers within your library, which I think is really cool because you may not have made those connections before. Um, and if you do collaborate with other people and you are looking 
um, at this together with somebody else in your team, this could be a really useful workspace to have as well. With this one AI tool, you're able to interrogate pretty much any kind of document, video, voice notes, pretty much anything you can upload, and then you can interrogate it so you can understand it in seconds, you can ask questions about it, you can create different documents, and then you can begin to write. So when you're writing, you can also find new research papers, you can cite, um, you're able to pull out information from both what you've read, um, what you've understood, and then you can begin to form your essay and begin to form your, uh, your, your final piece of writing. And then you can enhance your text by making it longer, by making it shorter, by paraphrasing and things like that. And you can just make it sound more academic. Um, and if you want to share with a team, you can also do that as well. So it's a really nice all-in-one tool that makes life as an academic or student a little bit easier when it comes to writing and understanding research papers and if you want to see a specific scenario of me using unriddle then do let me know in the comments below and i will leave it down here in the description so you can go ahead and click it and try it yourself um, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye